Constitution protects publishers and journalists and whistleblowers, but his crime was just to have broken the silence and provided, um, shown that we are complicit by failing to speak out against the legal wars and the attacks on this this journalist who has actually provided the real truth and the deceit of Western governments. There's no investigative, investigative journalism in our lifetime who who's equaled the importance in terms of information he has provided through w WikiLeaks. He's called rapacious power to account. He's shown that, that our governments are supporting 70% of the military um, dictatorships around the world, um, including Saudi Arabia, which has an appalling record in, t in terms of human rights and the treatment of women. It also is, is attacking on behalf of United States Yemen. And, and we know that millions of people are a threat now in Yemen of starvation because they're closing the last last port there, which is providing the human humanitarian um, aid. At the same time, the the drone ex execution that we don't really hear of of innocent people all through the Middle East and any part of the world. Malcolm Turnbull can remain silent, or he can seize this opportunity and use his his government's diplomatic influence to defend the life of an, of an Australian citizen, a, a, a really top Australian citizen, whose courageous public service is recognised by countless people across the world. He can bring Julian Assange home, and that's what we ask him to do right now. Yeah. 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 Thank you. one more time. I'm actually an Australian citizen and I'm actually asking for assistance here. I want to know why Julian Assange's passport has been confiscated and why Australia fails to have a position on Julian Assange's detention. Illegal detention under the UN Convention, under the Human Rights Council's own ruling. I really would like someone to come and talk to me. And as I am an Australian citizen, I don't see why you should ignore me. Under what law? It's not law, it's just policy. They're not allowed to make a comment. Right, okay. Well, we're moving on to the US Embassy now. But um, thank you very much for at least talking to us on the loudspeaker. Very brave. <laughs> Actually, just tell me uh, where the US Embassy staff are? No, they're not answering. So the British High Commission are not answering the door to two British citizens wanting to ask questions. Pretty shoddy. And it's raining now. 
third venue today. Right, I think we're off to the Parliament House now. We've decided to take it further. Just one more try. Hello. Hello. British High Commission. Halfway through, okay. I got it back. 